campaigning for France's presidential election began this week with three of the leading candidates addressing supporters in Lyon. The independent and centrist candidate Emmanuel Macron, who calls his movement en marche or let's go, pulled a crowd of around 10,000. If the polls are to be trusted, he's predicted to win the race, but he's already had to fend off rumours that he's in a relationship outside of his marriage. And it's worth noting that an independent has never won the presidency before. Only two years ago, Macron was almost unknown, but his rise in popularity has been rapid. He's pro-EU, as a former economy minister he's pro-business, and he appeals to the young because he's progressive on social issues. Convinced European that I am, it warms my heart to hear a presidential candidate defend the European project with so much pride and courage. Another independent, the hard-left candidate Jean-Luc Mélenchon, also popped up in Paris at the same time as he did in Lyon, in the form of a spectacular hologram. His supporters chanted resistance. The person they're mainly resisting is National Front leader Marine Le Pen, who's expected to win in the first round. Mélenchon has positioned himself as Le Pen's arch-rival, but the two in fact overlap in that they're both sceptical of the EU and globalisation. His supporters are also fed up with the state of the economy. I still don't know if I'm going to vote for Mélenchon, but the idea that speaks the most to me is the end of austerity, because politics is not a question of rules, it's a question of choices. What changes with Mélenchon is that he won't use a huge amount of promotion, big words and make big speeches like Macron did yesterday. But he really speaks to the people, explaining in concrete terms what are the problems and what are the solutions. And then there's Le Pen, who's surfing a wave of populism that has delivered two political earthquakes, Brexit and a victory for Donald Trump. Why Marine? You've seen the shit we're in now. She's the only one that can save France. We have 70 years of left and right politics that have led us to misery. All this should not exist. We should live together peacefully. Le Pen denounces globalisation and promises a referendum on membership of the EU if the single currency is not ditched and the member states not given control of their borders. France is facing uncertain times and a presidential race that is shaping up to be one of the most unpredictable ever, yet her nationalist message is resonating.